Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2015 Hyundai Elantra, we're gonna be checking out the Thule Hitching Post Pro Hitch Mounted Bike Rack. First impressions of the rack on the back of the Hyundai. Uh, I think it looks really good actually. Simple, uh, easy to figure out. And I actually like where it sits and kind of holds your bikes because it's about chest level and makes it really manageable when you go to take them off and load them up and everything else. Uh, this rack does have the ability to carry up to four bikes, but they say if you have a class one hitch, uh, you're limited to two. So I just wanted to mention that. Um, if you're unsure, you can always check the labeling on your hitch and, and that'll tell you what class it is, or at least it should. Uh, but with that said, the way this is gonna work, it's gonna hold your bike down in three spots. So you'll have two straps here along the top tube and then a strap down here. And this one's there to help, uh, you know, limit side to side movement. That way your bikes aren't swinging around all over the place and clanking into each other. Um, but with that said, why don't we pull the bike off and, and have a better look at the rack. So pretty straightforward stuff here. You know, you just pop these off. Same deal with this one. And then we can slide it off. I do like this one. The arms are about perfect width apart in my opinion wide enough to keep everything supported and whatnot, but also narrow enough to where you can easily work the bike off the arms. And that's not the case with all of them. Some are really wide and you just have to fight it. So uh, it's good to see there and makes life a little bit easier. The cradles here where your bike's frame is gonna sit, they're pretty wide and relatively deep. So a lot of different frames should fit in there. There's some channels for your cables to run through so they don't get smashed. And this is made from, it's almost like a, a soft plastic or hard rubber. So shouldn't scratch anything up. Uh, one thing that I've noticed with this one over the years is the straps. These things are super tough, uh, very thick. They hold up extremely well, especially considering we pretty much use this rack every day of the week. Uh, you know, putting it on different vehicles and whatnot. So it sees a lot of use and it just takes forever to wear these things out. So average person, probably uh, never gonna have to worry about replacing them. And some of the other racks are, you know, maybe about half as thick as these and they just break and stuff. And, and uh, you know, kind of a pain if you don't have the strap to hold it down, it's kind of useless, right? So good to see there. I do suggest so putting them back in position uh, locking them in whenever you're not using it. That way you don't have to worry about losing them or anything along them lines. Something uh, that I did want to show is even with the rack like this, you are still able to get in your trunk and you got a lot of space back here. Uh, so, you know, that's nice. That's, uh, you don't have to take the rack off to get, to get inside here. Uh, something you do need to think about though, it's being somewhat large, it is going to uh, take up some space on the back of your Elantra. So if you got a small garage or something, um, keep that in the back of your head. We'll have to figure out exactly how much uh, it's going to add. We'll measure from the trunk here to the very edge. And it looks like it's gonna be right at about 40 inches. So something to think about. Uh, the arms do fold down though when you're not using it and it frees up quite a bit of space. Uh, and the way you do that, there's a pin and clip Pop that off and fold these on down. And put that pin back in. And now it's uh, pretty compact actually. We'll take that same measurement and with it like this, it's only going to add about 20 inches to the back of your Elantra. So this rack is gonna work with the smaller inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter uh, trailer hitches like we have here today on our Elantra. It also comes with a piece that'll allow you to use it with the larger two inch by two inch hitches. So, you know, if you end up uh, getting another car in the future or uh, have another vehicle in the household, chances are really good this is gonna fit. It's pretty rare that we come across a vehicle that this does not work on. So, good news there. But it's uh, gonna come with an anti-rattle bolt. And essentially what this is gonna do is eliminate any play in the connection point. And that way you won't hear it clunking around in your hitch whenever you're driving. So kind of give you an example of that. Let's say if we're going down the road, hitting some bumps, you can see this is gonna move with our Hyundai and not on its own. 
Other than that though, at the end of the day, a bike rack you really can't go wrong with. Uh, these are really popular, well built, uh, easy to use, so you really can't ask for too much more. And, and honestly, for a more mid-range uh, bike rack, this one's probably one of my favorites. Uh, I feel like you just get a lot of bang for your buck. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then, onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that'll finish up our look at of the Thule Hitching Post Pro Hitch Mounted Bike Rack on our 2015 Hyundai Elantra.